Hey everyone, it's January 27th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share it with serial killer Lam Kwok Wai, one of only two known serial killers Hong Kong has ever seen. And that is him right up there, and I'd like to apologize for my terrible Chinese pronunciation. Born in 1971, he was known as the Tian Moon Rapist and the Sex Devil. Lam spent his adolescence in the Tian Moon District in an impoverished area where many children fall between the cracks, becoming truants and experimenting with drug use. The Sun Yi On Triad, effectively the Chinese Mafia, was known to have a strong presence in Tian Moon, engaging in drug sales, prostitution, and working as Shylocks. Local children were recruited by the gang, and this was the environment that surrounded Lam as he grew up. His father had him late in life, and he was raised in a home with a stepmother and four siblings after his mother left the family when he was three years old. Lam's dad spent his nights drinking heavily, and he never had a close relationship with anyone in his home. His sister reportedly said, night after night, father would sit and drink and say nothing while the rest of the family would watch television in silence. Lam dropped out of school in 1986 at the age of 15, and that same year his father ran afoul of loan sharks and left for Macau to let the heat die down. He began running with a bad crowd, shoplifting, getting into fights, and chasing down stray dogs and killing them. He wound up in juvenile hall, and after he got out, he started gambling heavily and using drugs, largely medicated cough syrup, and found that he was a skilled illegal street racer. One night in 1992, Lam was in the midst of a drinking binge and decided to attack a woman he saw exit a cab, squeezing her throat until she passed out as he raped her. It didn't take long until he did it again, following a woman home from her job as a cocktail waitress. After a series of rapes over the next few months, he finally took the next step from serial rapist to serial killer. He choked a woman to death during his assault as she returned home from a late night gambling session at a mahjong parlor, committing acts of necrophilia after he killed her. Lam killed again a few months later as local police poured all their resources into the rapes and murders that had the locals on edge. Residents marched in the street to protest inadequate policing and Lam fled to the Hung Home region where he killed again. But with his M.O. matching the series of rapes and killings the police already knew about, they quickly realized this third murder was committed by the same man from Tian Moon. Lam was caught when one of his victims survived his assault and he asked her to go out on a date with him. Shaken by what had just happened to her, she agreed to meet him the next night in order to calm him down and get away. Smartly, she went to the police and the authorities ran a sting operation, bringing him in when he approached her. Behind bars, Lam confessed to three murders and ten rapes and told police that he had eaten part of the intestines of one of his victims. At trial, Lam was convicted and sentenced to 11 terms of life in prison. A low-budget horror film called The Rapist was based on his life and released in 1994. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me in comments I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so you can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Lam Kwok Y, I say... Happy birthday, you bastard.